Hi everyone, welcome back. Glad to see you came back to see what we're doing. I think this week is week four. Um, and yes, we've done quite a bit actually. I've got a few pictures which I'll insert about now. Okay, yeah, so that's what we've got up to so far. We've done the girls' bed, we've done our bed, and we've done the kitchen and the bench tops. We haven't actually done the cupboard bits yet. And we've fitted in the cupboard on the... above the kitchen today. So there's the kitchen bench, there's the seating area. Um, yeah, and we've done the girls' bed. So today, oh, excuse my finger, today we're going to be doing the kitchen top. Not the kitchen worktop the kitchen cupboards that are going on the top. Good morning, it is Sunday morning. I don't know what week we're on, I'm confused. What did we do yesterday? Yesterday... I can't remember. What did we do? Oh, plumbed in the water heater. It's got a water heater, it's a Thermi. What is it called? Druma Thermi? I think it's a Therm. Therm. Therm TT2. There you go. And Simon planned that in yesterday. And today we are trying to fit the tap. Even though we haven't got the sink. But we haven't got the sink yet. We had to order it from Ikea. But it's not coming till the 18th. But Simon's very impatient. He wants to fit it now. He wants to fit the tap. So that's what we're doing today. So this is the pump that we've got. It's fitted in, uh, in the garage area. And then comes through up to the sink when our water container is going to be under here and then the sink and the tap are going to be up here. Okay, so the tap is fitted. Oh, and there's the pipe work down there. And he's just going to fit some plug holes in there. Because you get a little one of these. What's this called? A switchy thing. What's this switch called? I should turn the little immersion heater on. Okay, so we get this for the little water heater. And we also on eBay bought this plug set. Sea line. What was it called? Sea line? Sea line. Sea line, yeah. And you get two of these. That we just found out the other one. Yeah, and it goes into the, got like a little taste thing bob. And then Simon noticed that you could actually, this one would actually fit in the same one as this one. So instead of having two of these, I'm going to put one of these on one side and then this one on the other side. Yeah. Just want to make sure we don't catch that water heater when we're in getting in bed. So yeah, that's the project now, is cut a hole and fit the plugs. Okay, we've had a change of plans. So instead of putting the plugs up there, we're going to put the... This bit's got to be tongue groove to the step and we're going to put them in there. <coughs> in there next to the cupboard. There should be a cupboard door here, a cupboard door here. Okay, so <laughs> another change of plan now. He's changed his mind again. Instead of having it down here, let me turn the camera around. Hang on. Here. Or here. Now he's having it here. There you go. 
So he's just cut out this hole I've got going there, and he's gonna go on to get a bigger uh, hole saw to drill that one because that one's slightly bigger. So this one will fit in here, obviously the way around, like that. And then, yeah, I don't want you to took the other one, I think. So yeah, and then the other one goes in there, and then this bit will slide back into there. So yeah. If you know us, you know what he's like. Change his mind like the weather. But he's drilled the hole now, so he's got to go over there. Hi guys, back again in the van. It's been a few days because we've been busy working. Everyone loves to go to work, don't they? Um, but today we are doing, I'll show you, this. Got this inverter on, where did you get it from? eBay. Oh. On eBay. It's apparently, four thousand. that's upside down, 4,000 watts, but hmm, we don't, we don't think it is. Um, so we're just going to test it first before we fit it because we've got an induction hob which we bought from IKEA which was £39, but about £39. Um, so we're just going to test it first, so we're just connecting it to the battery so that we can make sure it's going to run the invert, the inverter, run the induction hob before we fit it all in and build a box for it and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, also we fitted the truma the water heater so this is in the garage we're in the garage area now so this is in the garage area and then we've got it pipes around to this kitchen area which is around the corner there um which is where we're gonna have our sink and all our water and everything so that's also been fitted in i forgot to say we bought this on facebook for 80 80 pounds i think which is like half the price of a new one and the lady that was selling it just said they never it was like a leftover, so yeah. So we've got like that. Like I say, that's been fitted. We've got the diesel heater there, which is really good. Our battery and our inverter, split charge relay. All this is in the garage area. So we've got our induction hob from IKEA inverter. It's turned on now. Here we are. My IKEA saw video actually might blow up. <laughs> might blow up. If you don't see, if I don't publish this video. You know, it didn't work. It says 12.5 on there. Output zero. Oh, we're just turning on. We turned it on. What's beeping? You read the instructions. Who reads instructions? Not me. Oh, not in that language, anyway. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? All right, come back in a sec. Okay, so that did not go to plan. And, I don't know, we've emailed them, so. We're just gonna leave it for like 15, 20 minutes to see if it resets itself. We'll let you know. Here. We are fitting reversing sensors. We are. Simon is fitting reversing sensors. Um, as usual, I'm just sat here watching. So, I'm going to set a clip now. Okay, so this is the kit we got. We got it on eBay. It says about £12. It was this one. And inside it comes with this. That's a speaker on the top. And then this has all the plugs in it for all the cables. <clears throat> and then on the front of the, if you can see, hang on. Oh. He's covered them up with tape because they're gluing in. But it comes with four, so it comes with a set of four um, sensors. And then it also comes with its own little hole saw, which is rather cute. And here he is. 
Yeah, so you even get the whole saw with it. Um, we yet to try it out, but we'll let you know. Hopefully it'll be a better experience than the inverter. And I will try and put a link in the description for this kit. If it's still showing on there.